Hey ghouls, how you doing today? Today I have a video, kind of a short video I hope, of how I, what I do when I stretch my ears, my lobes. So if you're at all interested in this, then stick around. All right, I had a friend of mine and I have a hair, kitty hair or something bugging me, who was talking about stretching her ears some more and said, ooh, a video of how I do it, you know, would be great, a little tutorial. I don't know why I did that because it is a tutorial. It's not like a secret tutorial, but yeah. So I am here. I am not stretching right yet, although I have ordered new jewelry just for that purpose. I am at 44 millimeters, which is U.S. equivalent of one inch and three quarters inch. One and three quarters inch. So I have a quarter of an inch to get to two inches. And I just wanted to discuss how I do it, how I stretch mine. And I will be using a smaller pair here to show you because... The other jewelry is in here, and I'm not going to go ahead and start using doing it to this because the best time, in my opinion, is when you get out of the shower. When you get out of the shower and everything's really pliable after a warm shower, a cold shower, of course, wouldn't do that. So, common sense here. Warm shower, your skin's a little more pliable, and being that I'm older, also my elasticity is less. So, that's I just. I think that's the best time to do it. That's when I've always done it. And I don't know if you could see anything with my glasses on and they are filthy right now. So I'm gonna try to do this without my glasses on. Good luck there. I'll have to take them off anyway when I go to cut the stuff. So I have a smaller pair. I wanna say these are, they're not 32? I don't think it's a 35, I believe. Maybe 38 millimeters, not sure. One of those. And they do have old tape on them, so I will remove that. Some jojoba oil, which I use this, you should use it, I guess, daily. I don't do it as often as I should sometimes, but I definitely do it when I get out of the shower and at least every other day for your lobes. I have bondage tape, latex bondage tape. I don't know if it's actually latex or if it's something else. I don't know. PVC tape, maybe? Anyway, this is what I use because this is what I had. Now, I think a lot of people recommend the, what is it, PTE or PFTE, whatever the tape is, the plumber's tape that you can, it sticks to itself with the, you know, stretch it a little bit and it sticks to itself. I have no problem with this either, though. So the main concern is that you don't want anything that's porous either because if you're you're stretching your ear and you could have tiny tiny microscopic tears in there as you're doing it which hopefully you don't but you don't want anything that's going to hold bacteria or anything that's going to cause it to get into the wound the opening whatever you know what i'm trying to say i'm trying to spit this out and I have a pair of scissors cheap these are my junk scissors i keep in the drawer to cut tags out of things and everything else whatever it needs to be done. So let me remove this old tape here. I don't guess I need both of them, just one of them to show you. Now, I would take a shower, which when I do stretch my ears, I'm waiting for them to show up. Like I said, the new jewelry, it should be here by Monday. I think earlier than that though. I usually get a lot quicker. I'm in Central Texas and I order from Body Art Forms, which is in Georgetown, just north of Austin. And I usually get it really, really quick. This time I didn't do the super quick, you know, um, priority. I was like, it's Christmas time and I really don't have to have this. So let's not make the, the system worse by adding stuff in there that I can wait to get. So I believe it was going through DHL or something. So, here we have plug, clean plug. Make sure it's clean, clean it off, take any crap off it. And I do keep these oiled with oil, jojoba oil, before they go in my ears. 
I clean, I put the whole oil on my ears like this. I take some, I get it on my fingers and then I just rub it in. Then I'll have some usually left over and then I put that all around it, rub it in. You know, you don't want it sloppy wet or anything like that. That's what she said. I had to do that. So, there you go. Now, put this back in there. My ears, at one point this ear had a blowout. That's why you see those lines in it. But a while back, I took them out to let them shrink a little bit and then went back to stretch them and it seems to have taken care of that problem. So it's working out that little lo the lines that are there are coming out now. So here's what you do. Plug tape. Now you'll need different amounts depending on how big the plug is. I want it to at least wrap around one time, possibly twice for this. So I will get a strip that I think is long enough. Cut it off. And then I will cut it. See how wide it is? I need it to fit in this dippy do, the flare. See, there's a flare on each side, and I need to fit in between there. So I will cut me a little piece here. evenly as I can and it'll get wonky and I don't care and then you still have this that you can continue to keep stretching your ear with now I might have some that's a little bit wide in spots but this will stick to itself and you put it on here get it in the center hold your finger on it and kind of just you know nice and snug you don't want to See, it stays. It sticks to it. It's got that little bit of oil on there and it'll stick to it. And yes, it went over at least part of another time. Now, that should be the only amount you do the first time. The one cut. That's what's worked for me. It's nice and snug. You press that down onto itself and it will stay. It's not coming off. See, it's, it's there. And then you'll put that in your ear. And then the next day, preferably you get in the shower, do the routine again, you will cut another piece just like it and just go right over it. And continue to do that until you can get your neck size in. Now, this has worked for me. This is how I've done it for years. And I had the one blowout and that was going from a size, I mean, I had smaller ears then. It's when you're, you're getting somewhere you feel like and you jump too fast and I went to bed and it seemed okay and I woke up the next morning and it was bloody inside the edge here. This had not split, it had not ruptured all the way, but it had blown out and that was it. Had to take it out, let it go back down to the size before or even smaller, I don't even remember. It's been many years since that happened. So after that I learned my lesson and I went much slower. So. Just continue to do it until you get... Now, what I do recommend is that when you're stretching, do not use wooden. Once you stretch up, the first ones that go in your ear, I get the metal, you know, steel, whatever, tunnels. And they have the one flare in the back use an O-ring on because then you can slide it in and you don't have to worry about the, the increased size because this is bigger and, you know, it's, of course, it's, it's going to take a little bit more to get it. So if you have the exact next size, once you get up there, that little bit, once this gets more flat, even, doesn't have that concaveness to it, you, know, you should be able to put your next size in pretty easily. I have not had problems unless I had a huge flare. And then trying to get it in is a pain. And once you get it in, it's in. Cause, and you better hope it wasn't too tight or else you're going to have a blowout. So I'm showing how people who've come from wherever to, to see this video and be like, that's not how you do it. I have been doing this for many, many, many years. I took my time. I am at one and three quarters. And I started seriously doing this in 2013. So, yeah.
I've been doing it for a while and that's the only problem I've ever had. I guess I do also want to, as you get bigger, I've also found that having ear skins, the silicone ear skins, make it easier to sleep in as well. Do not use those to stretch your ear. Use something that is non-porous and stable, solid, so that you can stretch them. That way, if there's any tears or anything, you have something that isn't porous that's going to, like, wood that would absorb any kind of bacteria or something bad that you don't want to get in there. You don't want that. So I cannot stress enough about when you first stretch, be careful you don't have tears. It should not hurt to stretch your ears. If it hurts, take it out. If it gets swollen, take it out. It's, it's not worth it. I mean, you'll get there. You will get there. So yeah, that's just my quick little video here of how I do it. And if anybody's interested to go through the process as I do stretch up to the next size, which is actually 48 millimeters. I want to go 46, but it's having trouble finding any in the size I needed. So it's going to take me a little bit. So I don't know how easy it's going to be. And if anybody wants to follow that journey of me going up to one and seven eighths or 48 millimeters, leave a comment. And whenever it comes time, I will sit down and do it. Chances are, though, it will be a quick Maybe even in the bathroom, I put the tripod up because I like to do it when I get out of the shower, when my ears are very pliable. They should just be really, you know, clean them really well in the shower. You got a nice warm shower. And like anything else, your pores open and everything. Everything is more pliable. So, yeah. But that's all I got to say. And I hope this was helpful. And like I said, you, you can use um, plumber's tape. Or I don't know what else anybody else uses. And I guess there are a lot of salves on the market for stretching. That I've used one one time way back when. And I just really didn't like it. Jojoba oil has been my go-to since I started. It keeps them soft. And also, this can be used on other, you know, I rub it on my neck. Because as you get older, this right here is very important. You could tell your age because of this. So it's just really good for your skin anyway. So, there's my little tutorial. <laughs> I hope y'all liked it. I know there wasn't much to it. And like I said, this you can continue to cut. And if you get done with that, then cut another piece and continue going on. But don't force it. There's no reason to force your ear to stretch to a certain spot before it's ready. Because naturally, you can stretch it easily, pain-free, and reap all the benefits. And this comes from somebody who did a blowout one time. So, let's not don't mess up your ears. Don't make it. And also pay attention to how thin it's getting right here on mine. Feels like it's getting a little thin. So I don't know how much farther I can go because that area is very thin. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. Leave your comments below. Like it, subscribe, do all the things. And just remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. And don't let anyone take away your shine. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.